Manhattan's largest school board district voting to pass a resolution that could eventually stop transgender girls from playing on female sports teams in New York City. Now a committee will be formed to review the impact this would have. Fox News' Sharon Crowley was at tonight's meeting in Chelsea and has the latest. Its primary impact would be to marginalize, frighten, and discriminate against a group of students who need our affirmation and support. Members of New York City's LGBTQ community objecting to a move by some of Manhattan's Community Education District 2 members to review the impact of transgender athletes participating in female sports in New York City public schools. I'm frankly disappointed that adults in positions of power are capitalizing on a lack of understanding to try to push debates and policies rooted in discrimination. Discrimination has no place in our schools, our city and our state, and we're proud that New York is a legal safe haven for transgender young people and their families. District 2 covers neighborhoods from the lower to the Upper East Side. Some on the board here want a committee to review gender guidelines adopted in 2019 that allow transgender athletes to play on women's teams. Those in favor of it want to look at the impact on female athletes when the category of sex is replaced by gender identity. But we also want to consult doctors. We want to consult evolutionary biology experts. We want to consult with people who understand the physiology behind the issues. In terms of some team sports, there are considerable physical safety concerns. They should be investigated thoroughly to ensure we are never putting our female athletes at undue risk. This comes after the Nassau County Executive signed an executive order banning transgender athletes from competing in female competitive sports at county-run facilities. That ban is currently being challenged in court. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.